Hello everyone, this is Turia from Hidden Truth Tarot, and I'm here to do the weekly for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the 19th to the 25th of November 2018, you guys. So Libra, how are you guys doing? I know your last reading, some amazing stuff was going on. Let's see what we got here for you guys today. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what do you have for my friends, uh, Libra? What do you have for them? Sun, moon, and rising signs. Libra. Thank you, Thank you Spirit. Thank you. We're ready. All right, you guys. Let's get right into the reading. The first card out. I'm doing a small Celtic, by the way. Um, I situate them a little bit differently, but this is um, a small Celtic that I've been doing. And Libra, here we go again with this uh, Three of Wands as the situation. I'm trying to remember what position you had it in your 15th through the 30th of November reading. All right, what's crossing you? Two of Wands, crowning you. Five of Swords, your foundation. Nine of Wands, what is benefiting you now? Five of Wands. New circumstance is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. What you need to know right now is the Ten of Wands. And your outcome is the Ace of Cups. And from the bottom of the deck, Four of Pentacles. All right, you guys, there's a lot of uh, fire energy going on here. So, you guys might be dealing with a... Um, Aries, Leo, or uh, Sagittarius. So, from the bottom of the deck, this is going to be kind of the underlying uh, energy uh, throughout this week, you guys. So, Libra, this is Four of Pentacles, and um, it kind of represents, you might be holding a little too tightly to your, your money. You know, sometimes uh, this can represent... Um, you have to let go in order to get back that kind of a situation. It is also power, um, uh, control over your finances. So this is a very, this is a good, a good foundation here of you're secure. You feel secure in what you have. It's just saying that be, be wary that you might be holding on a little too tightly. So we'll go ahead and look at the cards and see what else, uh, comes out for you guys. Okay. So, let's go ahead and let's look at the situation, Libra, for the, for the week. Okay, we're starting out with the Three of Wands, all right? So, this is the energy. This is the seed that's been planted. This is looking out. This is looking ahead, sitting and waiting on information that, you know, you've planted the seeds, you've put in the time, and this is waiting on it to circulate and come back to you and that's what she's doing she's looking at that crystal ball and she knows that she's planted seeds ideas she's acted on something and she's waiting sitting and waiting on it to come to fruition and to come back to her right and what's crossing you is the two of wands so what i'm getting from this you guys are you guys are in a decision. You still have a decision to make in order to move forward. And this is going to be a decision that you're very passionate about. Um, this is like desires. This is, you know, I, I really feel like either, either road you choose, you're very passionate about, but you're, you're wanting to make sure that you're making the right choice is what I'm getting from this Libra. So let's look and see what's crowning you. So, this is kind of what you know right now in this week is the Five of Swords. And you see this, this, this angel, this guy right here with the wings, the, um, this figure, he has taken three swords from her and she has two in her back, right? But he, he stops to look back he, he, and uh, look over his shoulders. And I'm um, just, what I'm getting from this is there might there might be arguments this week um there could be some words said that are are unkind or or not nice um 
this have, may have to do, Libra, with the decision you have to make. It, it may be causing conflict at home or a conflict between you and someone else. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, sometimes it's best, you know, sometimes some things need to be said or someone needs to take a stand. But what this card is saying is, is, you know, making sure you win this argument or this situation, is that really the best way to go? you know, if it's going to hurt someone else. So I really feel like there's someone that might be getting their feelings hurt. And I, I'm, it, it could be in a relationship, it could be at work, and the, your foundation uh, for, um, and the, the, this is what you're not aware of yet, Libra, or you will become aware of this week, is the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands, please excuse my grandson. He's in there with my daughter, and he's playing and having him a fit. I, I apologize. Um, this is the Nine of Wands, you guys, and this is persevering. This is moving ahead and moving forward because, you know, you've you've won the battle, okay? You're, you're, but you're still sitting there, and you're holding your wand, and you're like, I can take on more if I have to. I can move ahead more. I, I've still got this. So, I mean, you have a lot of, of fire and creativity and energy uh, surrounding you this week. Passion. And then we have the Five of Wands. And this is like competitive. Um, being competitive. This could literally have to do with a job. And I, I really do believe this is what this is talking about. You may be moving up in the workplace. Um, you've been offered something. It's competitive. Um, you've outshined others, maybe. And, you know, it, this might be where this Five of Swords is coming in. And there's definitely not nothing wrong with being able to have a chance to move up. And others may feel wounded by it because maybe they felt like they were the one for the job. Or maybe they're jealous. You know, but you, you go, Libra. You do what's best for you and what's right for you and what helps you in your situation. But there's nothing wrong with a competitive energy as well. But fives also represent challenges. So you, you've got some challenges you're dealing with this week and throughout, you know, and this week. And here's the new circumstance, the Eight of Pentacles. And this is just what I was talking about. Why I think it has to do with whatever you've created, whatever decision you're making has to do with work or maybe moving forward or moving on is this eight of pinnacles this represents hard work all right and this is this is stuff that this this these pinnacles right the eight of pinnacles represents something that's going to be lasting that's going to be long term so whatever decision this is that you are going to make this is going to benefit you you know years down the road so, and you're great at it. This is a mastery card. You know, you're, ma you're, you're mastering your craft. You're mastering whatever it is, however this resonates with you. You're on top of it. Um, what you need to know is the Ten of Wands. So, we have the Nine and the Ten of Wands in this reading, right? So, this is where you're persevering. You're moving forward. You can handle this. And this is the Ten of Wands. And it's like, okay... It's time to surrender and start a new cycle. And I see that happening right here with this Ace of Cups. You're, this opportunity of a job, love, a gift from the universe, it's going to offer you this cup. of this cup, And it's going to quench your thirst. And you're going to be able to move past this cycle with this uh, Ten of Wands here. You're going to be able to come out of surrendering and be able to move forward Libra this is beautiful this is a beautiful reading I do see a lot of challenges but it's nothing that you cannot handle I mean you're handling handling it quite nicely and right and the only way to grow in life and to to be able to expand and move on is to go through challenges and then once we go through them we battle them we realize them we learn and we grow and then we can surrender to a new opportunity, a new gift, a new start. And I really do see this. And it's going to be a secure one because you have this Four of Pentacles right here. You're secure right now. All right. You're holding on to what you have. But I honestly feel like that this gift coming in once you surrender, that 
this gift is going to be able to allow you to be able to let go a little bit as well and give. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the what the energy oracle has to say for my dear Libras for the 19th to the 25th of November 2000. And oh my, okay. All right, you guys, what did I just say? We have the Four of Pentacles. This is holding on. You are stable. You do have what you need. Um, you're secure right now. Libra, what this is saying, all right, this new opportunity, what you're waiting for right here with this Three of Wands, all right, and with this decision is a man holding a coin. This can represent a woman or a female in this situation, all right. This is someone coming in your life that's going to offer you an opportunity of material gain. So, Libra, this is a, definitely, I'm saying, a new job, a move up in the workplace. And you are going to have people that are jealous. There, There is competitiveness. Like I said, that's how we grow. So, that's amazing, you guys. Amazing. So, let's go ahead and see what the animal spirit oracle uh, wants to share. Spirit, what do you have for my dear Libras for the 19th to the 25th of November 2018 for my Libras here. What spirit, what do you have for them? Oh, nice. And here we go. Mouse spirit, tend to the small things. All right. So what this is telling me, Libra, this could have been arguments at home, maybe on this, this, this new decision, this moving forward, this new job. Uh, this could be taking on more responsibilities and how I'm seeing this is maybe make sure that you find a balance in this uh, to where you're not, you know, you may be moving up to bigger things and more money and, and moving up. But make sure that, you know, I'm not saying that your your family is lesser than that and because it says tend to the small things. What I'm saying is, is that. Don't forget about the people that's helped you along the way to get you to this point, Libra. And, you know, you may have children. You may have, um, whatever, however this pertains to you, you know, make sure you tend to things at home as well as at work. And this also can mean just the little things of make sure you tend to your vehicles, your homes, you know, make sure you're tend into yourself, your health, because we did see you have to make a surrender here in order to have this new gift and opportunity that's offered to you come in from the universe, because you've been working so hard, Libra. This is mastery over what it is that you do, and you've been working hard at it. Give yourself a break. Make sure you take care of you as well. All right, thank you so much, Libra. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And like, share, and comment, and everyone that is watching, um, that has been watching me and subscribed, thank you so much. This is Tria from Hidden Truth Tarot. See you next time. Bye-bye.